I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. Are the same organons that were threatening goal. Maybe they caught that Cletus guy. Yeah, I knew he'd be a whip. So what am I gonna do now? I guess it's better to remain hidden. Maybe I can find out something useful. And you're sure that this Rufus character is naive enough to bring your fiancé here? Absolutely. He's a self-centered, greedy rat. The expectation to get to Elysium will lure him here. A greedy rat? Why, that lousy... I really don't understand what you see in this woman, Cletus. As far as I'm concerned, she's simply an unpredictable risk for our joint venture. Believe me, after everything she did, I'd prefer to leave her behind on Deponia too. But I need the Ascension Codes to return to Elysium, and those codes are only stored in her brain implant. No goal, no Ascension Codes. And without Ascension Codes, there's no joint venture. I don't like it. Ulysses will have us both executed if he finds out that your companion is... Shush. Here he comes. At ease, Bailiff! Report! There's still no trace of the Deponian Prime Controller, uh, sir. Then what are you waiting for? Carry on with your search. Even through this drone, the stench is unbearable. At last, it's time to put our plan into action. Yes, as you wish, Prime Controller, sir. <coughs> Let's get to work. The faster we're done here, the better. I entirely agree. I'll have a look around the platform to see if this Rufus has already arrived. You'd better stay in the background. We can't risk that rat bailing out on us before we have the Ascension Codes. Wait a minute. That Cletus guy, he looks just like me. Maybe not as attractive as me, but how can that be? And I don't like what they were talking about. I didn't get everything they said, but they're certainly up to no good. And I can never allow Goal to fall into the Organon's hands. First, I'm gonna have a word with this Cletus. Junk help him if he tries to deceive me. Deadly projectile weapon. Check. Ammunition, check. <coughs> All hands, battle stations! Keep calm, Argus. We're on a junk planet here. I'm rather surprised that this lamp didn't blow up earlier. Just like this whole planet should. So, please carry on. <laughs> Together with the lampshade, the flag looks exactly like Cletus's cape. Now all that's missing is the greasy hairdo. My disguise is almost complete. All I need now is oil for the hair.
<laughs> this will be even cooler than my old lampshade routine. I can't get any closer. The organons would see me. Genius. <laughs> Let's go. This time, I have surpassed myself. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Now, weren't you supposed to be waiting out on the platform? Well, I just wanted to stretch my legs for a minute. You can't really see him very much from up there anyway. <coughs> Somehow I don't like your attitude. Well, everyone else loves my attitude. I hope you didn't forget about our agreement. How could I? So, you do have the cartridge? Uh, yes. Well, where is it? Oop, I'm such a scatterbrain. <laughs> I must have left it out on the platform. Hurry up, man. Time is running out. Rufus, finally, I face you. Wrong. It's me facing you. That's what you think. I was facing you at least three seconds earlier. Keep telling yourself that, buddy boy. Enough with the discourtesies. Where is Goal? She's safe. Well, that's just perfect, genius. No, you're the genius. We had a deal. You were supposed to bring gold to me, and then I'd have taken you to Elysium. No gold, no deal. So what now? What's the agreement between you and the Organon? Well, why shouldn't I just tell you? Deponia is going to be blown up. What? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten that I'm speaking to a Neanderthal. Deponia, boom. Boom? Yes, boom. The whole stinking pile of manure. And Elysium knows this? About the blast? Of course they do. We placed the order years ago. What do you think the Organons do all day? Delouse their mechanical beards? <laughs> What will happen to the Deponians? Well, uh, physically speaking, they'll be converted to energy. Theologically speaking, well, let's just say there won't be a star in the night sky for them. Whoa, that's serious. Well, to be honest, Deponia is believed to be uninhabited. After all, the surface was declared uninhabitable eons ago. Just when the controlled destruction was imminent, there were rumors. Supposedly, there were humans on Deponia, they said. That's why the elders appointed an inspector to get an assessment of the situation. And now, guess who this inspector is? Uh... I am, you troglodyte! I see. Oh, one thing that I don't understand, besides the meaning of the word troglodyte, why didn't the Organon report that there are people on Deponia? They know we live here. After all, they've been terrorizing us for years. They impose customs duties, they block trading routes, and they steal babies in the northern quadrant, which uh, might just be a rumor. Ulysses had his reasons to keep Elysians in the dark. But now you know the truth. Yes, I know everything. Okay, that means that Deponia won't be blown up. Right? Hmm. No, wrong. Ulysses explained it to me, and we've come to an agreement. My report to the Elders will state that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Deponia will be blown up after all. Do you have any problems with that? I mean, what's it to you? <laughs> You'll be safe in Elysium when that happens, won't you? Well, you do want to get to Elysium, right? Yeah, sure, but... Blow up Deponia? That seems a bit extreme. I mean, okay, it stinks. It's not really a looker. It's not really a place for someone like me. But I know a few people who are attached to this pile of junk, which might have something to do with the fact that huh, they live here and all. I mean, I'll admit, they are all idiots who wouldn't even recognize a hero if he happened to set fire to their cabbages. But blow it up? 
Yes, blow it up, demolish, cremate, eradicate, just like that. I don't care at all, but Gaul won't like it. Well, you're not wrong with that assumption. Gaul has proven herself to be a risk, but that's been taken care of. What's that? That is a consciousness cartridge. To be precise, it's a memory backup of Gaul's personality. I knew that. Gaul's whole character is stored on it, including all her memories. Up until she first laid eyes on Deponia and its inhabitants. She will never know what happened here. May I? Hands off! That's not a toy! But it's sparkling. Well, I will never let that happen. Well, in that case, we don't have a deal. Too bad. You would have liked life in Elysium. Let me just quickly contact the Organon so that they can... No, no, no. Oh, wait a minute. I wasn't finished yet. I'll never let that happen is something that somebody somewhat attached to Deponia would say. I, on the other hand, uh... All right, great. There's no one who hates Deponia more than I do. Oh yes, how much do you hate Deponia? There's nothing but trash around here. Yes, company included. It stinks. Well, your deodorant does that too. My what? I deserve better. That I highly doubt. There are only idiots living here. And you're living proof of that. Okay, let's just say I hate this place. I don't know. It appears to suit you well. Say what? Do you know what it's like to wake up every morning surrounded by garbage? Between leftovers and dirty laundry? The wash basin is leaking, the toilet overflows, the fridge is empty, and the water smells like it hasn't had a bath for months? And then those permanent cries of, Rufus, do the dishes, find work, tidy up for once, get it into your thick skulls. The whole planet is a trash heap. We walk on trash. We eat junk. You want me to get my ass into gear? You can wash my ass disappear. I'm going where potential is not just fertilizer that gets strewn on the cabbage beds. What can a man achieve in this trash heap anyway? Be freaking mayor of freaking garbage town? The job that even the noble master dodger of responsibility didn't want? Count me out. You hear me, dad? Count me out. And you know something else? I hope you fell into a manure tank. I'll wave goodbye when I pass you on my way to Elysium. Look at me. Who's the filthy little litterbug now? Huh? Who's the litterbug now? <sighs> okay. You really do seem to hate Deponia. You think? So, the deal is still on. Only if you keep your side of the bargain. And you, yours. Ladies first. Grrr. The Organon said something about a backup cartridge. So that is none of your business. You take me to gold, and I'll take you along to Elysium. We didn't agree on anything beyond that. So I guess we won't be trading junk ball cards. No. I need the backup cartridge. Oh, I'll have to disappoint you. It won't help your lack of brain capacity, I'm afraid. I still need it. And what, pray tell, do you need it for? Gaul is unconscious. What did you do? Was her implant damaged? Don't worry, she's okay. Yes, yes, okay, great. But what about the implant? Is the implant still working? I think so, yeah. What do you mean you think so? Without Gaul's implant, I'll never be able to leave Deponia. So why don't you give me that damn cartridge so I can go and wake her up? Yes, yes, okay, fine. Here's the cartridge. But as soon as she's awake, you'll bring her here immediately. Understand? And God help you if the implant is damaged. You really love her, don't you? Genius. <laughs> Let's go. This time, I have surpassed myself. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Well, 
Well, what? The cartridge. Did you find it? Of course. Here it is. Don't panic. Where? Yeah, I can hardly make out anything. And why are you lurking around in the shadows like that anyway? Come into the light where I can see you, man. I, uh... Well, I... But my dear bailiff, I beg of you a bit more courtesy. Don't forget, we're all working to reach the same goal here. Let the ambassador pass. The faster he finds this Rufus person, and by extension the Ascension Codes, the sooner we can follow through with our mission. As you wish, sir. I do believe that the Ambassador has very well understood the seriousness of our current situation. I'm sure he is aware that he has only this one chance to retrieve the Ascension Codes. And if that fails, we'll employ our own methods of retrieving them. Isn't that right, Ambassador? Of course, sir. Oh boy, that was pretty close. I think I can get rid of the disguise for now. I doubt they'll fall for that a second time anyway. Before that Argus guy does. Maybe there's a trail. Oh, what happened here? Fortunately, the lamps are making the phosphor glow. I wouldn't have seen that trace in the dark, even if I had used my sonar powers. Don't worry, babe. Rufus to the rescue! Aha! Exactly what I need to get through the fence. Oh, this wouldn't have gone so smoothly with bare hands. Well... Ouch! Not this one. Ouch! Oh, gosh! This one respects me. I'll take it. Hey, this isn't a syringe at all. <laughs> I've literally found the straw in a needle stack. Who else can claim such a thing about himself? I've got to get through all right, but by cleaning up? Oh, there has to be a different solution. Wow, a real whale. I always wanted Dad to take me to the aquarium, but he was right. There was only room enough for me in that fish tank. Huh, the whale looks hungry. Let there be light. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. Here I am, behind the cracked window. <laughs> Stupid animal. Who have we here? What? What 
Welcome to Bozo's Trash Trawler. I'm Bozo. Don't shoot! I'm unarmed! What? I don't want to shoot you. Listen, I don't want any trouble. I'll just get my girlfriend and we'll leave. No reason to get violent. So, that's the illusion you were talking about? Doc, what are you doing here? Did this pirate kidnap you too? Don't worry, I'll save you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not a pirate, and I didn't kidnap anyone either. Well, that was easy. Yeah, I haven't got much time. I need to keep the Organon from blowing up Deponia. What? Why should the Organon blow up Deponia? I, uh, no, I can't tell you uh, anymore. I'm on the track of a conspiracy of enormous proportions. I, uh, <clears throat> I can't get you involved in all this. You don't know yourself, do you? Well, that's, <laughs> that's confidential, too. All I can tell you is this. I have to find a way to wake up Goal. Well... Then you come aboard the right trawler. I know a lot about brain implants. Just like me. I guess the cartridge was damaged. Hand it over for a second. Um... Just press the eject button. Hey, keep away or you'll board the pain train. Pain train? Who do you think I am? Just wanted to help you. Yeah, whatever. Almost dropped it. Hold your horses, young man. Such a cartridge has to be handled with loving care. One scratch, and your girlfriend is nothing but organic waste. Don't worry, she's in good hands. Do you have the cartridge? Sure do. There you go. That was the complicated part, right? Stop joking and show me. Ah, yes. What's your diagnosis? Um, the battery's down? Well, in that case, there's nothing we can do. We should scrap the thing and... Wait a minute. You're just messing with me, aren't you? It's just some dust on the contact pins. That's all. Yeah, and you totally fell for it. Well, this shouldn't be a problem at all. Clean the pins and reinsert it. You mean I should dust? You sound like my ex-girlfriend. Did you scrap her, too, because her battery was down? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>